and I still have a cold, so energy levels are not fully back to normal. I'm going to talk about, so I was thinking about what I've said in some of the videos I've posted, and I made a video kind of talking about backpacking and what it means to me, and I was thinking about it, and I went backpacking through Scotland, and I've been through hiking, kind of backing, backpacking, but I bought this bag, I got this bag, so it's a Katadin 50 liter, it's a light to ultra light bag, so it doesn't weigh very much when there's nothing in it, I pack heavy, I'm a geologist, um, although I, depending on the field work, that kind of thing, it might not be too heavy, so this is the bag, I have a few things in here, um, so it's now, I got it at the end of 2011 or January 2012. I left for Africa in 2012 and it was my primary bag in Africa, uh, backpack, especially for smaller trips uh, to like Zambia and Zimbabwe and coming back to the United States, moving to South Africa, moving back to the United States of America. And then I also took it to Cape Town, South Africa. We did a backpacking. Uh, and he, he, so, okay, so this is the bag. It's now, I think it's over nine years old. And it's finally started tearing um, here, which is kind of inconvenient for just if I'm checking it and check baggage or something like that. I don't want it to tear and then have all my stuff fall out and lose everything kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I have. I have, considering I take it in the field for geology, so I've done through hiking, hiking, backpacking in the like driving a car kind of sense, backpacking in the public transportation kind of sense. No, backpacking in the busing kind of sense. It was, I, okay, I, I don't know if I've done this bag specifically on like buses in South Africa, but I did it on like book a seat in a bus kind of thing. Um, yeah. I did ride trip public transportation in South Africa. I think we only did that once, though. But we're... Yeah. Depended on traffic and cost and a bunch of different things. It wasn't... Tra public transit wasn't the only way you could get around uh, in a cost-efficient means in South Africa. And so I've managed to keep it really intact. I used it primarily for backpacking, hiking, traveling through hiking and geology field work. And so it's gotten its fair share of use over these past nine years. And so I was thinking about, so I took it with me to Scotland in July, 2019. And that was a backpacking trip, but thinking back to my first backpacking, and this is the inclusive de definition of backpacking where you can be, it's living out of a backpack, no matter your means of transportation. And so thinking back to it, my first backpacking trip was actually spring break, but it wasn't spring break because I was living in South Africa and the seasons are switched. So I think it was April, it was like Easter break. So it was either March or April, 2000, yeah, March or April, 2012 in South Africa. And we backpacked or I backpacked. I can't remember if everybody in the group had a backpack or not. And so that's why I've been a little hesitant to say it was my first backpacking trip because I think the topic may have come up and I if I, 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 I can't recall all of it. My, um, and so that kind of thing, but there might've been people who didn't have a backpack. I can't remember, but I think we agreed to call it a backpacking trip or not. I don't, again, I, I, my memories are slow coming back in some things. <clears throat> And so technically, I'm going to say that was my first backpacking trip uh, because this was the bag. And yes, I backpacked and it was a group backpacking trip from Port Elizabeth, South Africa to Cape Town, South Africa and back to Port Elizabeth. And we did some stops along the way. Um, so it wasn't just those two cities. And on that backpacking trip, I also went on my first wine tasting. So it was in 2012. March or April 2012 during Easter break. It was not in, in the Northern Hemisphere that might be called spring break in the Southern Hemisphere it's Easter break. And yeah. 
And in addition to the first backpacking trip, I also went on my first wine tasting. And so I was 19 years old and the drinking age in South Africa was 18. So I actually went on my first wine tasting and we started at Fairview and I think we went through Stellenbosch and Fairview was a winery uh, founded in like 1693. Uh, so older than the United States of America, this winery in South Africa. And so that was, that was kind of fun. Uh, yeah. And so those are two firsts. And then my first, so, so that was a group. So my first backpacking trip was a group backpacking trip. And then, so that was 2012 Easter break and then spring break. So March to April, 2013. So almost exactly a year later, plus or minus, I can't remember the exact dates of the Easter break uh, off the top of my head. Uh, Easter break, not Easter break, spring break, 2013. I took this same bag on my first through hike, which was a group hike. I have yet to do a first solo through hike and that was a group of five of us, two females, three males on the island of Maui in the Hawaiian Islands. Both of these um, backpacking trips, different types of backpacking, but both of the backpacking trips were approximately six days. And then my first solo backpacking trip I have done, and that was Scotland in July 2019, and including travel days, that was a 17 day trip. So my trips are getting longer. <laughs> uh, they've also gotten shorter. I, I do a broad range. Um, I have not yet done something like hundreds uh, of days. I think. Yeah, I, I geology field camp is your it. It's a it's a, a lot more gear is needed for it than th through hiking. So I think that and that. I took a big duffel bag for that and so I was living out of a bag but a different type of bag kind of thing and geology field camp yeah, it's geology and this is just one form of carrying one stuff around but that was 42 days so I have time in the outdoors um but that's not this is I it's kind of tangentially related to backpacking um so yeah and so, but it has had repeated use, so it's not like I took it out on a 200 day adventure and then didn't use it again. It's like, no, it'll be used multiple times in a year, multiple times in a month for multiple days over nine years kind of thing. And I still use it. So yeah, I got a new bag. Uh, We'll see. I have to figure out how to transition between the two and what, when to transition and what to transition with, like what type of trip. So those are my first. We got first backpacking trip is Easter break 2012 group trip. It's also my first group trip. It was a group trip. First backpacking trip from Port Elizabeth to Cape Town to Port Elizabeth, South Africa. First through hiking trip. Group trip and first group through hiking trip. Same thing in April, March to April, so spring break 2013. And first solo backpacking trip, July 4th to July 20th, 2019, Scotland. And with the bonus of my first wine tasting it was a it was a wine tour so we went to a, a number of different wineries it wasn't just one wine place and that was part of my first backpacking experience over near Stellenbosch in South Africa um, when I was 19 years old yeah so and again the drinking age in South Africa when I lived there was 18 so that was entirely legal uh, for the country I, I was in and yeah, that's a few of my firsts.